My mom ended up having to leave me as a newborn in the Philippines. Um, during the time of, you know, kind of a wave of immigration to the United States, my dad got a job for Boeing, and my mom said, well, let's, let's, you know, let's travel to the United States for a better life for us. And unfortunately, she couldn't travel with me because I was a newborn. So she took the risk, left me with grandparents who took great care of me, and left me for a year and came back a year later and traveled with me, a one-year-old on her lap, you know, 6,000 miles away, 13 hours, and settled in Seattle for a while and, and followed my father, who was an engineer for Boeing. So, you know, she took risks. She knew what it was to take smart risks, and I really feel like for a lot of immigrant women, that's a, a great story to be able to share, and she's inspired me to take those smart risks. Um, she and my dad believed in good education, hard work, um, good family environment, and I think what truly kind of inspires me in my job now and kind of the things that I do in my life and in work was the fact that my mom inspired me to be a, a woman of courage and community service. You know, she's a retired Alameda County um, public servant. Uh, she worked in the county of Alameda for 34 years and she's still a retiree working in the county. And she taught me the value of giving back and serving the public. So I think that you know, my, the intersection of my job currently and the work that I've done both in nonprofit community development and government and now in banking is really about my mom. You know, she's taught me to believe in myself and to trust that I can do it. And I've managed to overcome so many things in my life and she's still in my, my life to inspire me, thankfully.